it's so important to preserve nature. And the more you preserve, the more you learn about nature, the better person you become. My best memories are of the stories we were told. The way they told them and the way they took us out into the field. And when we went out, it was not one. Sometimes we were groups of children with their grandmothers. So it was this harmonious, loving environment and a future group. I have got this dependency on this very Mother Earth. Everything on Mother Earth is so essential to me because it's me, it's my life. You know, outside, we are more conscious of what is taking place in reality. You are unconsciously getting education you could not have got anyway. <laughs> the place is beautiful. Oh, you know, I go to the seas and what, 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 I've never seen this beauty. Grace Masuku is a natural conservationist and she really does stand for traditions and cultures. But once I had spent time with her, I understood the value of what I was missing out on. The sense of community in these agricultural areas has something that just isn't offered elsewhere. When you came from the rural areas and you went through Sophia Town, I could sense the difference. But when I went back home, we are free, it's, it's nice, we sing, we gather together. The art of feeling together and therefore taking care of each other. I had this wonderful grandma. She was this truthful, loving person. In Setswana, your greatness depends on your humility. The more you are humble to others, the more great you become. No, in the cities, people have become aliens to themselves. That is why I've got the projects all over in the villages. We want to remind the people where we come from. And Grace, I want you looking up to that mountain. It's better that way. <laughs> better than looking at me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's because I'm looking at something beautiful up there. Yeah. So I didn't want to be disturbed. Very nice, Grace. Almost done. The concept was a woman who was deeply rooted in her community and into the ground. She accepts that for her to flourish and for her community to flourish, the natural world around her must flourish with them. Without this world at our most base level, there is no us. There's nothing rewarding as being humble because people learn to trust you. And when you accommodate everybody, you find yourself just being part of their lives. You can't just sit by and see it and see other people suffer.